of Bella Bedford. I have just packed all my um, cups and cuddles, very appropriate jumper. And I'm about to go and do some lifts. And then I'm going to get some more carbs in. And then, yeah, it's time to hit the road. And then, oh yeah, obviously, got to get my tan done because your girl's pale, pale. Um, but yeah, doing that all today. And then travelling to Bedford. Chose tomorrow. Um, I've got pre-digit at 11. And then my category's on about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm super excited. And... Yeah, this will be show for angels. So <clears throat> the tan is on. Um, my two base coats and one top, and I will have another top coat on in the morning. And then uh, I will do my makeup and everything tomorrow. Just finishing packing up my bag. See how brown I am. Um, so yeah, just finishing back in my bag and then I'm going to have some chicken and asparagus. Hi guys, we've arrived at the Bedford Hotel. Just checked in. Loving this full little lengthy mirror. Love, love, love. This is our room dressing table get ready there in the morning this is a wardrobe into coffee area amazing um here's our beds and i'm actually loving these plugs and lights are built into the bed it's amazing um telly chills and the bathroom is there joe's just in the shower so i think he's going to order room service soon um, but yeah, then we're going to chill out and watch some telly and go to sleep. That's about it, really. Ready for the day. In the morning, this lighting gives me an actual, like, gives me an actual tash. <laughs> yeah. Mm, ready for the big day. So, see you all soon. I can do that and Joe just ignores me. He loves me anyway. He loves me because I bring home ornaments that we just have to dust. <laughs> Fourth show and another trophy to add to the collection. This time we got a cup. We got a cup. I'm gonna eat my cereal out of it. <laughs> um, okay, maybe not. But I might be extra as hell on my next night out and fill it all with Prosecco. Oh snap. Put a straw in, you know, whatever floats my boat because hell yeah. I've had a really good season. Am I going the right way? Yes I am. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah. Have you got that coin? <gasps> we bought the card today and they gave us a coin, like a purple token, wasn't it? Here's a coin. Which was really weird because you usually get tickets or something. Um. Let's see what the coin does. Sorry, you go, you carry on talking, sorry. Um, yeah, so I got, um, today was a weird day. I got moved category. Um, but then, oh, let's see if this works. Oh my gosh. So we parked the car for the entire oh, day. Yeah, for free, wasn't it? For free? That was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. We're going to get food now, but I'm yeah. We moved category and came second place and, um, well, Joe says that he thinks it was a really tough decision for the judges. Like it was a really close call between it was very tough. third, second, very, and very um, first. And to be fair, the girl that won, I know that she did um, another show yesterday and actually won her model bikini category. Uh -huh. So I can't be disheartened. I've never done model bikini. I've only done like 
junior bikini, bikini open. Um, so I can't be disheartened. I got moved due to my muscle mass, but to be fair, I've known for a while now that my muscle mass isn't really up to standard. Well, it is, but not the category that you're, <sighs> you're competing with. Yeah, yeah. And but it was different because I've you've come first place in some of the categories that have that. Um, that it's a different that federation, isn't it? it? Again, it's a different federation, and I say this to anyone that's competing every single federation that you do you literally get a different result because the judges have a particular criteria that they see as fit for that category and that's different every show every show every show every like federation fe fe yeah federation like ibfa they've been the ones that i've been so as like particularly successful in uh -huh. because they I fit their bikini open category. What do you think their one is? What do you think they're um, looking for? IBFA. IBFA. Do you think they're looking for a more lean uh, figure, or more muscular, or more toned, or more tight skinned. Or I feel like they're looking for toned and tight. Like they don't want you shredded, um, but they don't want you soft. No, um, no, you were soft on the first one, weren't you? On your first yeah, show this year. I came second in my first show, and I was a little bit softer. Yeah. Whereas in the last couple of shows, I've really pulled it in tight. Obviously came first in my third show which was again IBFA yeah. um, I, huh? they moved me they didn't even keep yeah. me in the category because I had well I think it was purely down well they told me oh, it that was, was purely down for you. yeah yeah definitely oh yeah they moved me today because they well they said to me like my my muscle mass isn't it isn't up to what the bikini open is no. so they said go for a bikini model um, we think this would be better suited to you don't get me wrong they didn't force me like they said you know you can choose a bikini open but we're looking out for you yeah, yeah, yeah. and your body and it fits this and blah 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 yeah, yeah. and me and another girl no me and another two girls got moved and um, yeah, um, yeah. Well, I came second they, so. they, knew, they know who you are um, and they didn't have to do that they didn't have to do that so I think they knew what your body was suited to it's like judging a Japanese man on how English he looks you know what I mean like it's they knew what you fitted which criteria you fitted yeah and I and I do and I do feel that like I do think that I was better suited for this federation for that category so yeah. I'm pleased like to be fair I was really really nervous because I've never done a bikini model and um, there is a slight change in like um, hand movements and poses and how you present yourself on stage but that is literally it like everything else down to like the tea walk and stuff is all pretty much the same so yeah. um, I just did I just did my thing I added a few hair flicks and arms in the air <laughs> to be honest and then uh, yeah tried to sass it out basically and um, the thing i also know with like um the model categories is which some of you that do model might know this as well is that you are particularly judged on your presentation um so your hair um makeup nails literally things like down to the color of your toenails and that just it bizarres me because you know sometimes you might forget to paint your toenails luckily my toenails were matching my bikini today so it was all good but if you're not like presented well on stage then I know that you can get marked down for that um, I didn't actually have Kyria to do my hair and makeup today and I think that threw me um, like mid like the middle of the day when I was like oh no like I know my makeup's gonna smudge and stuff because I can't like set it like his does and it isn't good but your makeup was good today <laughs> I tried to. It was really good. Even we had the conversation and we, we were saying, damn, we said that you looked good, you looked especially good. Today. I think I've probably like, practiced quite often now this year with competing, like I've had to do it sometimes. Yeah, obviously, Kiz is, you know, she's really good at it. Yeah. So she, she could make a living out of it. She could do yeah. any kind of makeup, any setting, any. Yeah. Any well, for those who don't know, Kiz does event. do like people's weddings and proms and stuff. So like she she is extremely good and I feel like I do have that to fall back on when it comes to competing because she she does like the glamorous side of it whereas I'm like very much the tomboy lifting heavy in the gym but I do feel like I'll pick the wrong over didn't I? <laughs> I do feel <laughs> like I tried 
I do feel like I tried hard with my makeup today because I knew I didn't have career. I didn't know it was going to be like in a different category or whatever, but it, it came out okay. I will insert some photos and stuff um, so that you can see, because obviously you can't see me right now, but you can see me like in blurry um, street lights. But um, yeah, I'll put some pictures up. I just wanted to update you before we get to five guys, because we're going to go and get some food. Food. I'm going to snack on some pretzels on our way and eat Joe's. Um, Joe bought me some cake. Actually, I'm going to shout this company out. Actually, they're called Build and Bake. So you literally uh, can't see it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, let me. No, I can't, uh, I mean, I can't wait. Come for just for a second. Um, yeah, he bought me some Build and Bake uh, brownies, and he got me biscoff, and he bought himself a biscoff one, but he said I can have it, so I'm going to eat that. I, I also joking. won one. I, love it. I also won one, so I'm going to eat that now, and I will see you soon.